everybody, how's it going? And I am back with another Darman video here today because I just made a Darman video and then he dropped a new Halloween Darman video just three days ago. And I can't ignore a juicy new Darman video. Today in Darman's spooky Halloween lore, creepy fan stalks this influencer family. If it's anything like the last Darman video where the girl was really rich but was pretending to be poor, then we are in for a treat. So when is your next video? Oh, we're going live on Instagram tomorrow night. Oh my gosh, Melina, it's really you. I am a huge fan. Oh, thank you. What is this guy's hair? My guy needs a hat. It looks so bad. Your videos convinced me to move all the way out here from my hometown. It is a nice city. Not for the city. I want it to be closer to you. That's very subtle. Very subtle start to this video here. Uh, just like Darman videos are usually very subtle, very vague. You never really know exactly what the characters are thinking. They definitely don't just immediately let you know their intentions and their inner thoughts. I want to work for you. I, I'm great with cameras and, and mics. You know, that's, that's really nice, but unfortunately we're not looking to add to the team right now. Well, if it's a money thing, don't worry, I work cheap. I can even work for free. Seriously, it'll be like an internship. Whatever you need, I will What I will she do needs it. right now is for you to leave her alone. Does this look like the face of a man who is going to take no for an answer? Things are popping off pretty quickly in this video. I think we got off on the wrong foot. Hi. I'm Oscar. I am your number one fan. I have seen all of your videos like a million times. I've practically memorized them. How is that better? Good luck on your job search, man. Yeah, but if you just give me one Fair. chance, I... Only paying customers are allowed in here. You need to leave right now or we're gonna have to call security. Okay. Melina, can I just... Go! Just... Goodness, I mean, these girls have this other girl's back, but they were a little aggressive with it. When you're dealing with an unstable person, the worst thing to do is get incredibly defensive and start yelling at them. Get out of here, you freak! Can't you see we're painting nails here? We definitely won't be seeing him anymore. Hey, everybody. It looks like we got some folks coming in already. The first comment in her live stream says, I bet you guys have the best trick-or-treat I'm trying to figure out if that sentence makes any sense. Like they have the best trick-or-treating in their neighborhood? Yeah, Melina isn't big on Halloween mm -hmm. decorations. But I love them. When I was a kid growing up in Ohio, my friends and I would try to scare each other all the time with some of the creepiest stuff. As a skateboarder from central New Jersey, I know what it's like to get trick-or-treating. Me and my boys back in the day, we used to always put up them trick-or-treating decorations and then we'd shred it down the rails. You gotta be sure you grind it, slide it, and rip it. One time I was just pulling off a backslide 180 and then I realized, bro, I'm gonna lose my board, bro. It's out from underneath my feet right now and I'm just falling, dude, and I like rack myself so hard like my nuts went all the way up into my face dude that's how far that's how hard i racked myself i love halloween i just prefer the scare to be outside the house oscar says i'm your biggest fan i've seen all your videos a million times hmm. I just moved to the city. What are some of your favorite spots to hang out? Oh my goodness, could this be the same Oscar that was in the nail salon? There's an outdoor lounge called JD's, just down the street with some of the best happy hour. What's with all the elbows you're throwing tonight? Can you be any more obvious here? She immediately gets this message from this one creepy fan who goes up to her. She's so bad at hiding it. She's just like, yo, this is a creep talking to us right now, bro. Nobody ever sign her up to be a super spy, ever. No one ever give her a job as a super spy. No one ever Ever tell her a secret because she will immediately blow the secret. We need to stop. We're gonna have to cut the live stream a little bit short tonight. Is everything all right? I'm pretty sure Oscar, who was asking that question, is the same guy who tried to talk to me at the salon yesterday. I have overcome so much in my life to get to where I am. One crazy fan isn't gonna stop me. I don't know about you. It looks like one crazy fan is gonna stop you right now. Let's talk about this. Kev really trying to go to Yellowstone for the bachelor's party? The only wildlife I was thinking about seeing was the club life out in Vegas. I think I'd rather stay home with Melina. Oh, come on, man. Melina's had this rando fan contacting her and it's keeping her on edge. Me too. So the night before, the husband's all like, oh no, we're in this together. We're a big, strong family and family is invincible. And the very next day, he's lifting weights with his bro and he's like, I don't know, man. This one fan's kind of creeping me out too. Why are you frustrated? I know he means well. He can just be overprotective sometimes. It would have been creepy to have like a guy who doesn't look like they're creepy be the one who ends up being really creepy. Oh man, this guy looks like he just blends in with the crowd and actually he's the creepiest person here. But no, they were like, let's make this guy look like an actual clown without makeup on. If you want my advice, cut him some slack. He loves you and he just wants to be there for you. You're right. 
again. <laughs> How did they not see him? He's standing right behind the tree and he's the only person outside with him. Whoa! So cool. That's not what I would say. Hey, babe, how was the gym? <gasps> what is that? It's a housewarming gift. From who? The devil? I don't know who it's from. Ooh, it's probably from Oscar. Ooh, creepy. <gasps> We're getting rid of this thing. Come on. It's Halloween. Have a little fun. Uh, the fun is uh, trick or treating and, and candies. Hey, what's going on? Hey, whoa. Does this family like Halloween at all? Every single one of them sees this thing. It's literally just like a prop decoration from like any store you go to around Halloween. So many people have these in their yards. They're all around all over the place in Halloween and they're not that scary. But this family claims to love Halloween and every single one of them right when they see it goes, whoa, oh my goodness, that's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. It would be pretty creepy if there's like a camera in the eyes. Need anything from the store i'm almost out of green machine powder why don't you stay here with the kids and i'll go to the store instead oh that's nice of you you don't want me going out by myself do you they have completely changed their lives because this one creepy fan has decided to be kind of a stalker to her well i have one creepy fan who won't leave me alone i guess it's time for me to stay inside forever and never leave the house ever again her husband went from no nah, we're not worried about this at all it's just some weird fan to then the next day being freaked out about it to now not letting his wife ever leave the house at all i just want you to be safe right now look i, I know you want me to be careful but that doesn't mean keeping me in a bubble okay God, this stupid thing is here. This family is definitely lying about the Halloween thing. They do not like Halloween at all. This one plastic figure has now scared her twice and has scared everyone else in the house once. Well, what's the code to disarm the alarm again? Seven, nine, three, four, six. I know exactly what just happened right there. Because this is a Darman video, I was right. The eyes are probably cameras. And of course, they just so happen to have a conversation specifically related to the password of the security system of their home right in front of those cameras. <laughs> So obvious. What a coincidence. I found you. Are you uh, buying smoothie ingredients too? Uh, don't tell me. You like the green machine powder. Me too. Again, I appreciate your interest, but the answer is still no. I don't think you understand. I moved here for you. No, I don't think you understand. I didn't ask you to. I'll be seeing. She's been so afraid of him this whole time and then he actually walks up to her again, making it very clear that he's not going anywhere and she seems less scared than she's ever seemed this whole time. But now we're back in the gym with her husband and let's take a look at these signs on the wall back here. This one on the right says, shape your body. And the one on the left says, shape your body with us. And the next to it says, shape it now. It's just very aggressive. Shape your body with us. Shape it now. If you don't shape your body with us, just get out. I don't even want your membership. Get out of our gym if you're not shaping your body here. You need a spot? For real here, what are they trying to do with this character? He looks like he's straight out of an insane asylum. They never said where they're working out, but he all of a sudden is at the gym as well. Good form, you're no stranger to the gym. I gotta get in shape. Got a class reunion coming up. Do you uh, have anything on the horizon? Yeah, I'm supposed to be going to my buddy's bachelor party in Yellowstone, but I might skip out of this one. That's the worst spotting form I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. What is he doing? So this random stranger comes up and asks to spot you and then immediately is asking for personal information in your life. And then you just start giving all that personal information away to him so he knows exactly where you're gonna be this weekend so that he knows everything about your life. This is getting way too easy for this stalker guy. My wife's been nervous about some fan and it's not sitting right with me. Uh, where was that bachelor party gonna be again? Yellowstone. He rented us a cabin for us to use for several nights. I'm supposed to be flying out on Halloween. Good to know. He might as well just hand the guy the key to his house at this point. I mean, they kind of already have giving him the security system numbers. Call us when you get there. Hopefully I still get good reception in the park. Boys? Ooh. Ah! <gasps> gotcha! <sighs> I hate this statue. They should just get rid of the statue at this point. Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video about some of my favorite new live glam products. She just decides randomly on, I guess, Halloween night here to just make a live stream video talking about her lip gloss. <laughs> oh, good. You're home. You? What do you want? 
Well, since you didn't have any positions for me, I got a job with the power company. Would you mind if I come in and have a look around? Here's a situation where you say absolutely not. He's gonna get the lights back on. She's the most gullible person on planet Earth. Why'd she let this guy in the house? So let me get this straight. Their Halloween consists of her live streaming, the power going out, they're not trick-or-treating at all, which they could be doing right now. And then when the creepy fan is in the house, they don't stay with him at all times to make sure nothing crazy is going on. You were already dumb enough to let him in your house. And now you're not staying with him to make sure he's not doing anything stupid. And then on top of that, you gather around the table, all in the same spot so that he can know where you're at. Where is your safety radar? Your breaker unit needs some crucial parts replaced and until that happens i can't get the lights back on we'll go trick-or-treating and maybe we can stay at auntie vanessa's tonight i'm afraid we need to stay here right now the company is going to deliver the parts i need but until they do they need me to stay on the premise and just make sure that there aren't any shorts that could start a fire if it wasn't just so blatantly obvious that this guy doesn't work for the power company at the beginning it should be blatantly obvious by now you love halloween right i mean that's why I sent you that gift. Obviously, he sent her that gift. She has had basically zero other fans in this whole video that we've seen. So there's no one else it could have been. It was you who sent the weird, creepy zombie butler? Oh my god. Mom, what's up? I'm calling the police. He brought the creepy pictures, the incriminating evidence, in his toolbox. The call's not going through. Uh, uh, Devin, try your phone? Nothing. Oopsie, it must be because of my signal blocker. This is all your fault. And now you're gonna pay the price. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, I know. I can activate the distress signal. You've gotta be kidding me. There's no way he was able to block their signal, cut their power, turn off their security system, and make sure they couldn't get out of the door. <laughs> Oh, why isn't this working? Why isn't this working? I changed the code. You can never be too careful with all these crazy sorting around. Get out of our home and leave us alone. Can I please be part of your family? No, you psycho. This is brain numbing content right here. Wrong answer. <laughs> Nice. There's the climax of the video, guys. That's the big fight right there. Dad comes back and just punches him in the face from the side one time real quick. I love you! Good riddance. I never felt right about going. My gut was telling me that I needed to stay here. Like something really bad was going to happen. And just before the plane took off, I was looking at our security camera footage from earlier today. I saw the guy from the gym breaking into our house when we weren't home. I have to say... That may have been the best knockout of your career, baby. Now, out of all the other times in this video, she's choosing now to be funny. That whole family could have taken that guy. I'm pretty sure their smallest son could have taken that guy down. We took a closer look at that statue he sent you. Turns out the eyes are cameras. There's a microphone hidden inside. He's been spying on you from the inside. Wait, so you mean to tell me the eyes were cameras all along? My mind has been blown today, guys. No, but like, for real, this family's the dumbest family ever. They took a present. They didn't know where it came from. They didn't check it for anything suspicious. They just let it sit there in their house. They gave vital information away right in front of it. They then gave away the creepy fan all the vital information as well. They then let the creepy guy get away with literally everything possible inside their home. I guess we were both being pretty stubborn. As individuals, we're strong. As a family, is that the moral of the story, Darman? As individuals, we're strong, but as a family, we're stronger? Either that or it's don't be stubborn. Kids, you can't leave for college because as a family, we're stronger. Where are you going? Come back. We're stronger as a family. Can we finally go trick-or-treating now? Yeah, I think after the night we had, we could all use some candy right now. We all almost got killed, so I think it's time for us to go trick-or-treating. To be honest with you guys, this may be one of the worst Darman videos I've ever watched in my entire life, and I've been unfortunate enough to watch like four of them now. I hope you guys aren't too spooked out by this video today, though. But that's all the time I have for today's video. I sure hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to watch the video down here at the bottom of your screen because the algorithm thinks that you would like it as well. And as always, be sure that you don't get too spooked this Halloween season. This is Ryan Askew reminding you to stay askew because being normal is weird and being weird is being cool. I'll see you again in a few days with my next video, but until then, all I have left to say is bye-bye.